Ah, Halloween, All Hallows Eve. What a wonderful time for parents to steal candy from their children. Isn't that the truth? That's all I remember as a kid. You have, I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard of the candy tax, okay? That's where, you know, your parents come along to make sure there's no bad candy in there. Now, of course, the parents tell you it's because, you know, people can do weird stuff to the candy. Don't know why people would alternate candy, but uh, apparently people do. So, my parents used to tell me, uh, we have to check your candy uh, so that it's all good and then we'll give it back to you. But every time I got my candy back, it was already like 20 to 30 percent less. As a kid, I didn't know percentage, but I just knew it was a lot less than what I gave them, that's for sure. So over the years, I thought, is this some sort of trick? I don't think anyone's doing anything to the candy, but you guys, which is eating my candy, right? And then, you know, you get a little older and you start hearing news articles of people actually doing things to the candy. Like, what? Don't be doing things, okay? If you're going to hand out candy to children, make sure it's okay. But yeah, the candy tax, that's a terrible tax that to just take candy. But I get it. Because also, the parents have to walk these kids from door to door. And they're, okay, you go, ah, and then, hey. Probably gets old. I get it. So you take candy tax. Plus, it's not like the parents can go up to the door and say, hey, trick or treat, I want some candy too. Because, I mean, you see me, you don't have to walk around from house to house. It looks like you're comfortable in your house. That's what I want to be doing. But I'm out here with these guys and walking from house to house. So give me some candy. I don't think that works. You know the time, though, what's really what, the best time for Halloween, I think, when you're a kid is that first, those first few years you get to go out on your own or like with your friends or, you know, whoever you're going to go out with. It's just not the parents trying to avoid that candy tax. However, little do you know, I guess they live at the same house you do. So when you show up and they go candy tax, you go, whoa, 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 you didn't come out and put all the hard work into the, all right, here's 20, 30%. But the, oh, the first time that you get out on your own with your friends and it's just you and the neighborhood and the candy is yours for the taking, that's what I'm here to tell you today, folks. This was my first night out on Halloween. I don't know, must have been 11, 12, 13, whatever. It was first time out with a group of friends. We all meet up and I decided to go all out. When you're out, when you get your first freedom, you take it to the max. So I chose Robin Hood, as you do, because I wanted all the gadgets. and I wanted the hat. I wanted the bow. I wanted arrows. I wanted a, a knife. I wanted a thing. I, wanted, I had all the... I was all stacked. I was Robin Hood, okay? But what I didn't get in the memo was I was so decked out on my Halloween costume, I forgot that to what we had planned to do to get through the neighborhood as quickly as possible and maybe get to other neighborhoods was we're all supposed to bring some sort of transportation device. You know, rollerblade, skateboard, something with wheels on it. But no, here I had 30 pounds full of junk, <laughs> right? And here we set off. Was I discouraged? No siree. The night howls on and the kids go and all the wheels race off into the night within seconds everybody i knew was gone and it was just me in total darkness clunking around with a clunk, 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 hopping in the night and i could hear the kids screaming out in the distance Woo yeah this is awesome and i'm racing and i'm racing and it was really horrible because i it almost felt like every time i got to a house the lights would turn off like they were so quick because they're on rollerblades. They just hop through the houses and like get all the candy. And then like the houses. So I'm trying to race and beat the light. And so I'm roughing. I'm huffing and puffing and I'm running. And then out of nowhere, this dog who's, you know, in his defense, looking back, completely minding his own business, started barking. And I thought it was at me. Okay, here I am at night running, making a bunch of noise, probably making him mad. Uh, he was making me mad. 
So <laughs> he's barking at me and I go, oh no, that's the last straw, okay? You're not gonna have no dogs gonna be barking at me, right? I'm Robin Hood. I got. I'm trying to get to a mission that I'm clearly ill-equipped for. No, thank you, dog. So the dog continues to bark as a dog does. I turn to the dog mid-run, right? My, I'm running this way. Dog's over here. I turn my head while I'm running, and I bark back, thinking that's how I'm gonna get the dog in communicado with me. That I'm on a mission here. Could you keep it down? Come on. So I, ruff, 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 ruff. I'm still running this way. Ruff, ruff, ruff. And as as I turn, lights out. And all of a sudden, I wake up, and everybody's around me. All my friends. It's a very nice, welcoming, opening eye party. I, oh, hello. What are you guys all doing here? And then you know you start to, oh, huh, you said. There's more than just kids here. There's an adult there, and hey, what's what's going on? Are you okay? I mean, you know, I'm okay. I'm surrounded by you guys. I seem to be all right. Um, you were knocked unconscious. How was I knocked unconscious? And I kind of look up. There was a mailbox with my face imprinted on it. As as I turned to bark to the dog, I did not notice. <laughs> a mailbox to the face.